everybody, I'm Drew Hunt with Bean Trailer and I'm super excited to be here today to show you our brand new model. For years, we've had requests for a lighter weight, more affordable trailer. We've heard you and I'd like to introduce Beanstalk 2.0. It's the most capable, durable, refined trailer on the market for the money. Everyone has been waiting to see this, so let's check it out. The rear hatch and galley on our standard trailers is one of the heaviest and most expensive components that we install. To get to the aggressive goals that we set on this trailer, we had to remove that, but we didn't want to do that without having a fantastic alternative. So what we did is we actually looked towards our high-end Bean Squared prototype. On that trailer, we designed a side-mounted galley, and after cooking on that out in the wild, we discovered we really enjoyed it. So let's take a look at what that's all about. Both of our kitchen packages will come with the kitchen organizer, as well as a passenger side mounted jerry can holder. So this will come standard with a six gallon Reliance can. You can upgrade to the rechargeable Dometic Go system, or you can go with the filtered Lifesaver can. This also doubles as a table mount. So if you opt for the under mounted kitchen package, you'll get a weather type box underneath the trailer to store your table. So you just slide this out, pop your leg down, and this will lock into two different heights on this jerry can mount. And then you have cutouts for both a cutting board and a collapsible sink. So with this table, you do have options on the end and over here to add the discata, just like our other trailers that most people are familiar with. So you're gonna get the nice good big cooking disc there. Plenty of room down here to add your own two burner stove or whatever you already like to cook with. And then you also have an option for an interior mounted kitchen package, which we can take a look at now. If you opt for the interior mounted kitchen package, you get all of those original options that I mentioned, but instead of being mounted underneath the trailer, you get a table that is mounted underneath your storage shelf here. This table does not have cutouts for the sink and cutting board, but it can be added on to the undermount kitchen package as a table extension. So if you order just the internally mounted kitchen package, that table will mount to your jerry can holder on the side and take the place of this one here. If you order the undermounted kitchen package and do the additional table, we've created mount slots all the way around this entire table to make this kitchen as modular as possible to really fit your needs. We also added a Scott mount on the side here. So whether you wanna have it cooking on the end of your table or just back here on the rear corner, you can set this up whatever works best for you. Looking at the side of the trailer, we have a 110 outlet on the back corner that will run if you're hooked into shore power. You have flat top, non-stand-on fenders. We have 205, 75, 15 tires and Timbrin 2000 HD suspension underneath. We have the same doors and operable screen door as our other trailers with the ambulance lash on the back side to keep that open. You have the same lighting that you'll find on all of our other trailers. And up top, we have rack and awning options. So with a side-mounted galley, having a giant awning out the side provides a ton of shelter while you're out here cooking. So this one is a 270. It's really nice because it wraps all the way around the front and will cover your luggage on that front pan so you can get to your storage or your fridge, whatever you need to get to there. Beanstalk 2.0 comes with a redesigned front storage tray with a built-in modular mounting system. So you can order this trailer with nothing on the front rack at all and just use our J-hook accessories to mount your own storage boxes. Or you can opt to add the Iceco APL 55, which is a dual zone weather rated fridge. So it's designed to be mounted outside, great pairing with this front rack. Or you can also add our giant value box storage box in the front, ton of storage. You can lift that off and take it over to camp uh, just to get things moving around. We've also redesigned the front propane mounts on these. So since you don't have propane run through the trailer on this trailer, we've designed these to have two mounting latches, door swings away, tank comes loose, and you can take that to your side mounted galley and hook it up to your stove. So looking at that stuff, let's go ahead and take a look at the front tray and actually check out that mounting system. So what we did with the redesign of this front tray is add an abundance of these J hook slots here. So we have the little J hook strap accessory that you can slot into any of these to strap down 
the storage tote of your choice. So we've messed around with a lot of options, Milwaukee Packouts, Rome 23-0, the Alu Box, like I showed you earlier. Even any random tote from your local hardware store is gonna be a great addition on this front tray. In designing this trailer, we wanted to make it as flexible as possible. So what you'll find is a lot of the standard features in our other trailers are actually options in here, which allows you to choose the things that are important to you. So looking inside of here, we did add the optional front storage cubby, which does not have the same lights and plugs as our other trailers, but it does provide a ton of storage up top. We've also added the optional key and cup holder package. We have the same overhead dimmable lighting as our other trailers, so you can turn that up and down at night, which is really nice. With this trailer designed to be our lower profile option, this one we've gone with the Max Fan Mini low profile fan and the low profile roof mounts to help fit this in a seven foot garage. As you can see, that comes with its own little ring light as well as a nice exhaust fan. Moving towards the back, we have this big storage shelf up here with a couple tie downs. We have the shelf mounted table package. So that is gonna be one of the side mounted kitchen options there. Underneath, we have a ton of storage on the left side here, which we have added the optional under storage accent lighting. So a ton of room back here for duffels, totes, whatever your storage needs demand. Also looking underneath here, we have our Goal Zero Yeti 1500X. So with this trailer, the standard power center is gonna be the Yeti 500. You have the option to upgrade to the Yeti 1500X or even the Yeti 3000, depending on what your power needs demand. Looking behind me, you can see we did opt for the door and window package on the driver's side. So every Beanstalk 2.0 will come with one door standard on the passenger side. And then you have three options over here. Standard, it's gonna be just a flat empty wall. On this one, we did add the door and window, or you can do just a single large window on the side over here if you're just looking for that airflow. In the back, every Beanstalk 2.0 does come standard with the giant panoramic rear turn window here. So you get massive views when you're out at camp. And then looking at some further storage here, if you get the roof rack option, we give you the coat hooks on the sidewalls. If you have the side mounted jerry can holder, we also have the Molly panel backer plates that allow you to store more things on the sidewall and kind of have a dual purpose with that. On the driver's side of the trailer, you do have a shore power port for charging that goal zero. We did add the optional spare tire on this as well. And looking up top, this trailer is set up in our lower profile configuration. So the standard Timberin 2000 HD suspension will give you a total height of 81 inches if you opt for no fan and no roof rack. So if you have a short garage, it's a great option. With the low profile Max Fan Mini and the, our low profile rack option, that still puts you in at 83 inches. So if you have a seven foot garage, this is still a really good fit. If you're looking for something a little taller, a little more off-road ready, we have our four inch lifted Timberin 2000 HD suspension over here. So it gives you a lot more ground clearance. Also upgrades you to the Falcon Wild Peak tires. We have our standard Thule rack up here. So any standard roof rack accessories work really well up top on this side. If you are planning to carry a lot of weight in your trailer, you can also even upgrade to the Timberin 3500 HD that we throw on all of our other trailers. So whether you have a short garage and you're looking for gas mileage and low weight, or if you're trying to get clear off the beaten path, we have an option that's gonna fit your needs. We've heard a huge demand for a more affordable bean trailer, but we refuse to compromise on quality. Beanstalk 2.0 is the answer to that. You have the same single piece fiberglass shell, the same rugged construction, and the same quality that you've come to expect from bean trailer. But now at a much more affordable price and a much lower tow weight. Beanstalk 2.0 comes in just under 1,200 pounds. So if you have a smaller vehicle with a lower tow capacity, this can still be a great option to get out and go camping. Now that we're done with development on Beanstalk 2.0, we're shifting back to Bean Squared. So if that's a trailer that you've been following and looking forward to, go over to our website, sign up for the newsletter so you make sure you stay up on the ins and outs of the development of that trailer. Also, if you wanna see Beanstalk 2.0 in person, come on down to our showroom in Salt Lake City or reach out to our sales team and we'd be happy to set up a virtual tour. As always, like and subscribe below to stay up to date on all things Bean. We can't wait to see you out camping.